uh, coming up uh, looks like um, uh, in two days from now. So right now for me it's Wednesday, so this will be on a Friday. And it's right around Halloween. So anyway, uh, so we're going to solve systems of linear equations. We're going to do several uh, ways. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. So the uh, first one is solve by graphing. So we're going to graph these two lines. So I'm going to do the intercept method on this one and do slope uh, intercept method on this one. The intercept method is when x equals 0 and solve for this y. And then when y equals 0, solve for the x. Okay, so let's do that first. So when x equals 0, I'm going to uh, cover up this x right here. So when x equals 0, let's see if I can do that for us here. Uh, let's see, I'll go over there. So when x equals 0, oops, time out. Let me get that. There we go. That. Okay. Uh, when x equals 0, this x goes away, and you have negative y equals 5, so divide by a negative 1, you're going to get y equals negative 5, okay? And then when y equals 0, then you can cover up this y and the negative in front of it, so when y equals 0 right here, then you get x equals 5, so I'm going to graph 5, 0, so that'll be this dude right here, okay? So there's that one, nice and easy right there. Okay, and then on this one, I'm going to go up to, oh yeah, i got to connect it and make a line right there. So there's the line right there. So this one, we're going to go up here to plus 3 on the y-intercept. So up here, so up here, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to put this plus 3 right there, this guy right there. Okay, so there it is right there. Okay, and then I'm going to use this slope, which is negative 3, which is negative 3 over 1. So I'm going to go down 3 to the right 1, okay, because it's negative. So negative 3 over 1. Uh, negative 3 over 1 means go down 3 to the right 1, so there's that, connect those up. And then we get to uh, use an educated guess where they intersected. So here, looks like they intersected at over 2, down 3, so at 2, negative 3 is our solution. Okay, alright, and then the next part is uh, solve the system using substitution. Okay, so here... Uh, we have x equals y plus 3, and then 2x minus y equals 5. Here I have x equals this stuff, so I'm going to substitute in this stuff, y plus 3, for this x right here. I'm sure I color-coded that, did I? Yep. So this y plus 3 is going to go right there. And don't forget the parentheses, you guys. Okay, so there's that, and then we're going to distribute that 2 through, so 2y plus 6 minus y. So, whoops, I moved it down a little bit. So I, I combined like terms now. 2y minus y is 1y right there. Okay, and then we get, uh, we're going to go ahead and subtract 6 on both sides, and you get y equals negative 1. Don't forget, you're not done. You've got to find out the other variable, x. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in right there. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So your answer is always x comes first, y comes second. So 2, negative 1. All right, let's try it with this one here. Okay, this one here, remember we're solving by the substitution method. You have to solve it by the substitution method on the test. Okay, so um, I don't want to solve for that x right there or that y. I'm going to solve for this y right here. I'm going to first add 10x to both sides. Okay, so y equals 10x minus 8. And I just did plus 10x plus 10x. Okay, so I get 10x minus 8 there. Now I'm going to substitute this in for y in the in the other equation, which is right there. So I'm going to plug it in right there. Okay, so that goes right there. And then I'm going to go ahead now and distribute the 3 through. So 3 times 10x and 3 times negative 8. All right, and then combine those like terms right there. Now I'm going to add 24 to both sides. And we get x equals 3. Now don't forget, we're not done. we got to plug x equals 3 back up into where we had y equals. Okay, so we get y equals 22, and I'm saving a few slides just to save time there. Okay, so remember, x comes first, y comes second, so 3, 22. All right, easy enough. Okay, solve using the elimination method. Okay, here we go. So here, this is where if we have opposites, then we can just go ahead and add them together. And here I have a positive x and a negative x, so I'm just going to add those equations together. And the x is canceled, and I have here y plus y is 2y, and then negative 2 plus 6 is 4. So divide by 2 right here, you get y equals 2. All right, and then you can substitute in x into any equation. I substituted it into the top equation, x plus 2y equals negative 2. So I plugged in negative, or plugged in y equals 2 right there. So there it is right there. Okay, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. Be careful. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. Okay, so remember, x comes first, y comes second. Negative 4, 2 is the answer. All right, try it with this one. 
Okay, here you guys, what I'm going to do is uh, 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 multiply this equation times negative 3. Because if I multiply it by negative 3, then it's going to be at this negative 3x will cancel out with the positive 3x. But this gets times negative 3, and this gets times negative 3 also. Everything in the equation goes times negative 3. Okay, and I slid it over here. So this times negative 3 is this negative 3x. 4y times negative 3 is negative 12y. And then finally, 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, okay? And then uh, I just slid that other equation right on top. Now they're ready to add together, and the 3x and negative 3x cancel. And then negative 5y plus a negative 12y is a negative 17y. 13 plus negative 30 is negative 17. So I get negative 17y equals negative 17, so y equals 1. Okay, and then plug in y equal 1. I'll probably plug it in, yeah, to this one right here, because then once you solve for it, it's just x right there. So I plugged in uh, 4 times 1, so 4 times 1 is 4. So we'll go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides, and we get x equals 6. Don't forget, it's an ordered pair, x, y, so 6, 1. Okay? All right, this one here, you guys, this one's a little trickier right here. So um, uh, what I have to do is change both equations right here. Common multiple of 12 and 8 is 24, okay? The common multiple of uh, 7 and 11 is 77. I think I'm going to stick with the 24s right here. And since this is positive and that's negative, I'm going to multiply this whole equation times 2, okay? So I'll get a positive 24x times 2 is a negative 14y times 2 is a negative 4. This one, 8 goes into 24 3 times, so this goes times 3. This is going to be a negative 3x times 3 is 33y times 3 is 42. Okay, so I think I did that right there. There's that one times 3. Okay, and then there's that one times 2. Now the red guy and the blue guy are ready to add together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add those together. I get 19y equals 38. Okay, negative 14 plus 33 is 19. And negative 4 plus 42 is 38. And 19 times 2 equals 38, you guys. Okay, so we'll plug 2 back in right over there to any one of those equations to solve for y. All right, I chose that one. You could do the top one also. Okay, so I plugged in y equals 2. So 11 times 2 is 22. Okay, subtract 22 from both sides. 14 minus 22 is negative 8, which is nice. So we get uh, x equals negative 8. Uh, or sorry, negative 8x equals negative 8, so x equals 1. Okay, so your ordered pair is uh, x comma y, 1 comma 2. Does that make sense, you guys? All right, so uh, if you are in my class, I would assign that for your homework assignment. And I would probably call this um, uh, review worksheet, uh, something like a review worksheet, worksheet, something like that. Okay, review worksheet. Uh, 3.1 through 3.5, something like that, okay? All right, you guys, take care.